Hey, hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. It's a new year and time for more wackiness. This time, Thimbleweed Park. Pointy clicky. Casual mode, hard mode. Uh, I don't need a tutorial. I don't like that skip to interact with characters and objects here. Give commands to your characters by selecting verbs. Why am I holding the why am I why are they giving me controller options? Alright. Apparently once I use the controller I can't use keyboard and mouse anymore. It kinda defeats the whole point and click. Character's picked up her hit dude, this is I do not need a tutorial on this basic crap. You probably don't know me, game, but I'm the adventure games guy. Hey, nineteen eighty seven. Watch some Alf. And, um, look, I was like six or seven. I don't remember 80s stuff very well. All right. Clink, clink. Clink, clink. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Gay. No, it was just a chain. Never mind. My bad. Whoa, somebody done shot the sign. How very redneck of them. Well, I guess signs in the middle of nowhere get shot up all the time, no matter where they are. All right, part one, the meeting. Seriously, why would you give achievements for just starting the game? Ugh. Trestle Trail, 1.7 mile. Choo-choo. All right, now where is my... There we go. Is this my character? Am I some kind of a bum? Or a old movie detective? I'm thinking bum. Bum, ba bum, bum. Bum, ba bum, bum, bum. No, this is probably us. The bum's just an informant. I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. Open gate. Heck yeah. Willy. I don't want to look at his Willy. Are you a victim of the inferior American social support system? <gasps> uh, I need some whiskey. I am supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Do you have any whiskey? Sober up, sir. <laughs> I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruined my life. Wake up, sir. I have to go. Sleep well. <laughs> very, very polite young man. All right. Trestle Trail, walk to sign, look at sign. Trestle Trail to Thimbleweed Park, 1.7 miles. I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. What light did I want to put out? I had better follow the instructions on the note before wandering. So glad you cited the right solution to your problem. There are eyes everywhere, follow, leave your ID. In the hotel, for your information, leave your ID in the hotel room. Go to the river down by the trestle trail bridge. Turn off the light above the trestle trail sign so I know you've arrived. Meet me at the entrance to the sewers. It is a rock. It is a rock. It is a rock. Use rock on light. Smash. Oh, I said there. vandalism. I've completed step three of the note. Now for step four. Now to step four. Head to the sewers. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Here's in a half shell. Turtle power. Honestly, I was not expecting this walk through the bushes to be long enough to... Whoa. Dude. That's not good. 
I didn't know this game had supernatural elements. Well, you should be more prepared. Not if you prepared what we found that, that find that night or how much it would change us all. Alright. Part two. The body. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dragnet. Oh, wow. I know they're not going to be named Scully and Mulder, but... Hello? Can you do something? Don't just fling that in the water. So tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes. Sit back and learn. And I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. Body starting to... Pixelate. You are a slow this writer. This is going to be a long night. All right. It's an instant camera, but there's no film in it. Why would you bring a camera with no film? That is really dumb. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. Pixelation. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card. Possibly a key card from a hotel. Can I pull him out of the water? Better not. I don't want to turn the body over. That's the coroner's job. No. Someone brings him to the coroner. And he's presumably been turned over by then. Detective Angela Ray, senior agent. It's my bad. He's a male, uh, suit tailored, European, home victim's head, dozen dollars, gunshot, puncture. Oh. <whistles> All right. I think we'd better take a photo of that body before it pixelates any further. I agree, Agent Ray. You wouldn't happen to have any film on you. Sure do. Um, You okay. wouldn't happen to have any film on you. Sure do. Then give me the film. I've had enough chatting. Happy to help. Okay, you have the camera. I think we'd better take a photo of that body before it pixelates any further. I agree, Agent Ray. I've had enough chatting. Aha. Here's how we do it. We switch characters. I did not know that was the thing. I did not know that was the done thing. Smile. Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. She's in charge. She should probably lead the way. Oh, he doesn't, he doesn't follow automatically. Oh my god, I've gotten into a maniac mansion situation over here. Mm, let's see if he follows. Nope, not even when I go to an area. That means people are going to have to help each other out and swap There's an inventory empty can items. of Crockford's tuna heads, the good parts. pick up the tuna cane. I definitely prefer more modernized controls. This is not an old game. This is one made into homage old games. And I prefer the, you know, I click and then choose whether I look at or... Whoa, Signals hello. are very strong tonight. Why, Why are you dressed like... Yeah, that's dressed more important like a question. Giant pigeon. We're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister Emily. 
Hi there. But remember, signals are very strong tonight. So you're not brothers? Why brothers, if you're sisters? Dad was expecting to have sons, and it was too cheap to have the van repainted. So we're just rolling with it till he's dead. Oh, soon. Shut up, Emily. Signals <laughs> are very strong tonight. Okay, you keep mentioning what these signals. signals. The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. Yes, you already said that. But what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night. Deserted road. Me in a giant pigeon costume. It was too good to pass up. You're not creepy or the ominous. Are you're just strong weird. tonight. Very strong. You almost ran over a federal agent. That's a felony. Sorry about that. Like I said, the signals are very strong tonight. Do you know anything about the body by the bridge? Why is it whenever a dead body is found, suspicion always falls to the person dressed as a giant bird? Hey, if the beak fits. We don't know anything about a dead body, but the signals are strong tonight. Uh, very strong. I'll signal you in a minute. This is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. We got some Gravity Falls Twin Peaks crap I think crap I've had enough here. of you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you, too. How did you click, get out here? Click, Were you click, on foot? Click, 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 click. Okay. I do have run with double click, so that much at least is awesome. Oh. Cemetery. Excuse my coffin. I've got a cold. Do, 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 Long and winding cemetery. Oh my god, it just keeps going. This is the forever cemetery. I swear to god, if this dead ends or something, I'm cutting out walking back. Flowers? Where? I don't see them. Ah, oh, there we are. Flowers left over from a funeral. Hey, I got some flowers. I don't need more flowers. How do you know you need the flowers you got, buddy? Open. I don't see a way to open it. But I see a switch okay. inside. Okay, and I'm going to have to remap my key bindings. Apparently someone decided that the bracket keys that I use for start and stop recording in this game should also affect the volume. Alright. It's an empty soda bottle. Hey, at least you're not picky. Like some video game, adventure game protagonists. They're like, I don't want to pick up that. Why would I need a bottle? Is this a recap, or was someone watching us? I think someone was watching us. If I had known this was right here, I would have just... Wait for me! With more... Thimbleweed Park. Okay. Boarded up doorway. It's dark, but I can see there's nothing in there. Willie's Watch and Violin Repair Shop. Thimbleweed County's most exclusive watch and violin repair. We repair watches and violins for the rich or famous. Okay. Ride the boom or bust. Hint line flyer. It says, need help playing Thimbleweed need Park. Thimbleweed Call Thimbleweed Park? the fully automated Hinttron 3000 at 4468. Hmm. Oh, okay. Better leave it be. That doesn't seem to work. I'm going to assume that's locked. 
Are you the sheriff? Howdy. I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't remember calling the Federinos. That's what you are, Feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> Cut the mandatory crap. How we long were you going to let that body rot in the river? Well, the river is so chock full of chemicals from the old pillow factory. It's better off there than in a tub of formaldehyde. I guess you're here about our little murder Reno out by the bridge. There is nothing little about murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is starting to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at 8. I hope he's talking about on TV. Nope, here at the morgue. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Areno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slick Areno do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. Yeah, it works when Ned Flanders that does it. He no has sense. other stuff to insert. Are we authorized to shoot people Arenos? Like the Dudley Doodleys. Doodly Diddleys. Slurp. Oh, yay. <sighs> can't look at the painting. I can't look at the seal. The inscription says, Pillotronics, the brain of our city. Coroner and Sheriff. Well, this is not a complicated building at all. Howdy who, I'm the Thimbleweed Park Coroner. <sighs> Welcome to the future who. Does everybody in this town have a speech impediment? Oh, these are the latest in crime-fighting computers made by Pillotronics, Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, uh, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do I enlighten think he's us. the sheriff's brother. <laughs> or it's him in I cut. love your sarcastic humor, who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're There's interested in any goes. help your computers can give us. They look again. marvelous. <sighs> yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain, who. Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. All right. Bloodtron. The Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. Okay. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Fingerprints, right, Areno. The Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape and it will do a match a who. Shouldn't it have the registry in there and update automatically? Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Door, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face Areno? <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You who city folk who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. Aren't you the Sheriff Areno? Oh my, no. <laughs> no, no, no who. Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes. But we're yeah, as right. different as peas of who's in a pot of who. Plus, the Sheriff has that annoying Areno he adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that a who. Sure, whatever. Did you use these computers to investigate the pillow factory fire? Oh, sure did. Four computers positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. No doubt of who but about it. But there's only three. Could the computers have been wrong about the fire? Not these computers. Oh, the state of the art of who computers made by Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Isn't there a minority report? You said four computers, but there's only three. Where's the fourth one? Isn't there a conflict of interest with Pilotronics and the fire? Whoa, now! 
Pillowtronics and its founder, Chuck, are above reproach. Chuck built this town and was a computer and pillow genius. Are the feds uh, looking into this case? It was solved uh, 20 years ago. No, he's just <laughs> obvious. He's a pillow factory fire buff. He's got a CompuServe chat room and everything. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> hey, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, who? Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. 2017, a who? Well, anywho. I hate this town. Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. Alrighty. It's empty. Nothing. Nothing scary Nothing. in there. Come on. It's empty. There's a fingerprint Something. here. Yay. Huh? I don't want to pick that up. Oh, I automatically got it. Never mind. Alright. Don't really have any evidence to put in the machine yet. Lots of medical books there. I can't pull that. I can't pull Can't that. really blame me for trying, because, you know, old creepy cobwebby building, spider webs, bushes. Okay, there's no bushes. But, you know, trying to pull and push on random books in the bookshelf seemed the natural and intelligent thing to do. Alright, I got my to-do list here and notes. That corner and that sheriff are totally the same guy. Hello again, Arino. Agent Arenos. Who? Hopefully the coroner fills you in on our state-of-the-art Arino computers. Alright. Everything but the Arrestatron, sir. That's some very serious computing power you've got there. Yes, sir, Reno. It's all state-of-the-art computer Renos from Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Let's see. You, I mean, the coroner, said something about the Arrestron? <laughs> yes, the Arrestron 3000. The last step in a fully computerized Reno arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction of Reno. I don't Every like the word guaranteed detail conviction. Every Reno analyzed and verified by computer. Moving on. Right. Uh, on sorry, rest. Reno. I, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy Reno you've been hearing about. The Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this, and it issues a 100% Reno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer a Reno. Chuck said that computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. Chuck, Chuck who? who? Chuck Rose? Sadly, Chuck, Chuck passed the away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery, Reno. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run a Reno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Reno again. Looks like we need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. I thought there were a Scully and Mulder gag parody reference at first, but that does not seem to be the case. Chuck? Oh well. Ugh. Good God, when you, when you make a retro game, you don't have to stick with stupid stuff like... Like, uh, having to open every door before you go through it. It's an odd-looking plumber's wrench.
Okay. I would imagine I need something else to distract them before I can... Be smart by electronics. At Yeltron. Forever sorry. Safety first savings. It says we're out of the old abandoned pillow factory. Back soon. Safely first savings manager, Mr. El Polo. Wouldn't expect a bank to be open if this this late, this dark with the stars out anyway. All boarded up. Not even any wilted flowers left inside. Well, yeah, they don't leave flowers behind when they leave a building. All right. That that do that do that da. Hot dogs, burgers, salad, pie, Schweinshaxa. Schweinex? That's about it. Welcome to the S and D diner. Hey, just so you know, that article in the Thimbleweed Nickel about botulism was a smear job. So, what can I do for you, honey? Let's see. What's up with the sheriff? He's kind of weird, Reno. Yeah, he's kind of a nut job, but nothing compared to the coroner. This whole town has gotten downright weird in the last few years. Cuckooville. The coroner and the sheriff are the same person. Well, there might be some resemblance around the eyes, but that's about it. The sheriff does this annoying a Reno thing, and the coroner does an annoying a who. It pretty much proves they're not the same person. Oh, I get it. You're all stupid. I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the dead body? Not too much, just scuttlebutt from the morning breakfast crowd. And I don't want to get into trouble, especially with a crazy person like him. You're not talking about me, are you? Shut up, Dave. Don't screw with the feds. Tell us what you know. Okay, honey, but you didn't hear this from me. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. I should probably warn them about the Ransom Clown the Language jerk. DLC, was which the featured act at stupendous brother circus. More cursy, I think. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. It removes the bleeps. Big night tonight. Full house after my raunchiest Tonight Show appearance. I really got Johnny good, that little jackwad. It's his own fault for not being able to take a joke. I better get ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed idiots. I just need to fix my hair, put on my makeup and clown nose, and find my joke All book. Right. Alright, I'm going to call it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, or subscribe, or not. I'm not the boss of you. Good night.